Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to work a split granny square. In this case it's a solid granny square with all double crochet stitches. But what's um, interesting about this square is that one square is one half of the square, so the triangle is white and the other half is blue. And you're working this simultaneously, so you're working with two colors of yarn, carrying them with you, changing at the right places. I'm going to show you how I work this. I do my color changes in the chain two corner spaces and then I work over the corners in the following round so that that way to get them nice and neat to get this line nice and straight. Here you can see how I've um, we have done the chain two to um, close the rounds. But this could also have been in the blue. I've just decided to start in the white. What I'll show you is how to start. The start is a little fiddly here in the beginning but by the time you get to round three it's 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 much easier and it's just plain sailing. So I'll show you how to take the yarn with you, how to carry the yarn up from one row to the next and how to do this color change here in the chain two to get this beautiful split granny square. In this case it's a solid so all double crochets but if you would do different stitches the concepts are exactly the same. But I'll take you step by step through the first three rounds and after that I'm sure you can grow this square as large as you would like it to be. So we're going to start round one with just one color yarn. I've got one color yarn on my hook, doesn't matter whether which one you, you start with, I'm going to start with the white. I'm going to do the start of a granny square, so I'm just going to do a chain four, three, four, and then close this chain four with a ring, or with a slip stitch to form a ring. Now in this ring, I'm going to work the first round. I'm going to do a chain three, you can also do a chain two, I'm actually going to do a chain two, this is my first um, double crochet. And in the ring, so open that up, going to do the second double crochet. Chain two to make the corner, and now I'm going to do three double crochets in the ring. So one and two and three double crochets. Now this is the point where we're going to add that second color. I'm going to do that with the chain two that forms the corner. So I'm going to do chain one in the white. Now I'm going to take the blue yarn, this one, I'm going to do the second chain with that blue yarn. And now I'm going to continue with the blue yarn and while I do so I'm just going to cover and work over my um, working white yarn. I'm, for the moment I'm just going to leave the yarn tails for the white and the blue, I'm just going to leave that apart. But I'm going to work over the yarn tail, my working yarn, I'm just carrying that with me. Then in the ring, work a double crochet in the blue. You see I'm working over the white yarn my carry that I'm taking with me because I need this to do when I need to go back to white again. So I'm just going to work three double crochets then do a chain two which is again a corner and then do three double crochets again. So this is for the fourth edge. One, two, and three. There we go. Three double crochets. You can see where I'm at now. I've worked those two edges and I've worked this one. And this one, remember, we only did the first two. So I'm going to, again, in the chain, change color back to the white and then complete that last stitch. Oh here, wait, here we come, I've got the blue yarn coming. So I'm going to do a chain one in the blue and then pick up my white yarn 
And now be sure to take your um, working yarn and not the yarn tail because you'll be amazed how easy it is to take the wrong yarn here. And then with the working yarn, with the white, do that second chain. Now my loop is just opening up a bit. And, there. and don't worry that these tails seem rather long here. You'll notice that as you work that that, that doesn't matter. And then come back and work that last double crochet because you had the chain two which was the first one here and then that double crochet that that next one so we're going to close here on the chain two with a slip stitch and while I do so I'm just going to bring my blue yarn up the thing is you need to take this yarn with you because you're going to need it next time around so I'm just going to bring a little, sorry, I need the white yarn, but I need to work over the blue yarn. And then it's still small, it's a little fiddly. I've got the white yarn that I'm going to work the slip stitch with, and then I'm just going to work also over that blue yarn. You see I've got both threads there, and now I work the slip stitch. And what this has made is a very very small granny with two white edges and two blue edges. If you look at the back it's still a little messy but when we do the next round you'll notice that this cleans up. You can see here how I've taken that blue thread with me up. If I just, oop, if I just look at it this way and this is my working yarn, that one. You can see how I've brought that up with me in that slip stitch. And this is a my working white yarn and this is my blue yarn tail and this is my white yarn tail. So those I don't need. Now I'm ready to work round two. And once you've got round two up um, you'll notice that it just goes much easier to work around three, four, five or however big you want your square to be. So let's work round two. So for round two, I'm still going to be working in the white thread. And one thing you'll also notice is that your, your yarn tends to, to tangle a bit. Um, that's, that's kind of normal. So, if, so every once in a while just untangle your yarn and make sure that you've got the right, just that you've got the white with the white and the blue with the blue, that you don't have the yarns tangled. I'm going to start again with a chain two here. This is my first double crochet. If you want to do a chain three here, also fine, perfect. I'm going to work over the blue yarn, so I'm going to carry that with me because when you get here, you need the blue yarn, so you need to take it with you. In the next stitch, work a double crochet and over that blue yarn. Just going to work over it. And work a double crochet. In the chain two space work a corner, so there's going to be two doubles, chain two and two doubles, working over the blue thread. If you, and if you, um, depending on your tension you might or might not see the thread but ideally you, you make sure that you can't see it. See that's completely covered. See here it's to the back, I'm working over it. The next three stitches are going to work three white double crochets. And those eat one on each. Still working over the blue thread. See I'm working over there. Blue thread. Now I'm to the corner. And here I'm going to work two stitches in white, do a chain two, change in color, and then work two stitches in blue. That's what I'm going to do here. And that's my yarn tail, and that's my working yarn. So work two stitches in white, so one and two chain one and then change colors to the blue 
take the right thread. Again, it's very easy to take the wrong one here. And then make the second chain in the blue. And one thing you'll notice that I've done is I've made sure that white thread that was from the that's that thread there that was the, the changing thread is here on the right and that the blue thread is here on the left. So if you're left handed everything will be the other way around. So that will have them oh, the other way around. So because it's very easy when you do this corner that you accidentally move this blue thread to the other side and that's going to that's not going to look nice if you've got the blue thread there. So you really want to make sure that your white is to the one side and the blue is to the other. And um, because in the in the larger square when it's when you look at it you won't notice those threads unless they're on the wrong side. So that's just the one thing you really want to pay attention to when you're changing colors. And now in that square or in the space work the second half of the corner. So it's two double crochets in the blue. And this time I'm working over the white thread. Continue and work three double crochets in the blue. So one, and, the th and you see while I'm doing so, two, I'm working over the white thread, taking it with me. I'm actually also working over my y blue yarn tail, just connecting that to the square. But especially important here, I'm working over this white thread, I'm taking it with me. The corner here no color change so it's two doubles and one color chain two and I need some more blue and a two one and two three blue double crochets on this edge so one Two and three. And now we're on to a chain two corner. And you'll see again here that it looks a little messy, but it's not. Don't worry. I'm going to work two double crochets in blue, then change colors during the corner, and then complete the corner with the white. So I'm going to yarn over. And what's important here is again keep your threads separated. So really in, in that space, pushing the white to the one side, the blue to the other, because if you work here, you're going to force this blue thread to the wrong side. So really make sure that you're, when you work the stitches that you've got the white to the one and the blue to the other side. Then in that space work two blue double crochets. And that's the second one. Two. Oh dear, you see what I've done there? You see how I've worked that second one? Pushing that white thread to the other side. I don't want that, so I'm just going to work that again. And this is just going to give you the quality in your work that you're looking for. See, now you've got them separated. Chain one in one color, and now change colors back to the white. And that is uh, this thread here, back to the white, for the second chain. And these two chains, when you're changing color, keep them a little loose, because you'll notice if you push, pull them too tight, that your corners don't become square, that they kind of pull inward. So give these two chain, chain stitches enough room to breathe. And now we're going to complete the um, corner with two white double crochets and you see as I'm working over here I'm kind of covering that color chain stitch from the previous round and you see there's that little white thread that that little stripe there that's now being pushed to one side and now you get a nice neat edge here with all the white to the one side and the blue to the other side I've got one stitch left to do here in white. I'm just going to carry my working thread with me and not my yarn tail. That's the yarn tail. That's the working thread. Well, they both want to come. Well, then they both come. That's fine. 
and then the last stitch is close again on the chain 2 with the slip stitch and bring up your working yarn. So also that blue working yarn I'm also going to cover that with the slip stitch. So here to the back, you see that's the yarn tail there. If I just pull that aside then you see here that stripe how I've brought that working yarn up. You see there how I've also brought that working yarn up. So this is inevitable that you'll see those stripes to the back when you're bringing the yarn up. So I've now worked two rounds. I'll work a third round with you also. Now for round three, we're, we're in essence going to do exactly the same as we've done in round two. We're going to work white stitches, carrying the blue yarn. When we get here to the corner, we're going to change and then work blue stitches carrying the white yarn and then finish here. Just show you the, the start or, or this round again. So that's chain two. This is again for my first double crochet. You can do a chain three here if you prefer. And in the first stitch, that's the next one there, and that can sometimes be hard to see. Carry the blue yarn with me. Work a double crochet. And in the next two also until you get to the corner. I'm just going to work a little faster here. In the corner work two doubles. Chain two, still carrying the blue yarn, and two doubles. Work a double crochet on every stitch. And that's one, two, and if you, the neater you work this, the harder it will be to see the blue yarn from the front. So it is possible to completely cover your work with the um, cover the carrying yarn but um, you know, if you've got a very dark colored yarn with a very light colored yarn it, it, it is just harder to to cover that completely and then in the corner here I seem to have missed a stitch here I'm not sure anyway, because I've got a bit of a gap there that I can't really explain that gap there then here again Keeping the white to the white. Oh dear, again. Two double crochets, one and two. Again, going to change colors, so chain one and then change to the blue. Here's my, here's my blue yarn. And now work two blue double crochets and in the process covering the stitches that I used to change colors last time. Work a double crochet on every stitch, carrying the white yarn, especially that first one, don't accidentally miss it. What you could do here, if you don't like that, that little piece of yarn there that, that you've got from the change from the previous round, is grab it from the back. See, now I've got that that little piece of yarn there also. Grab that also and just work it in with this stitch. You see that'll make your hole here where you've done the corner just a little bit bigger. You see there. So I've now, so you see there, you see that little stripe there but now you don't because I've grabbed it from the back. This is this is an option. This this is uh, you don't not not necessary, but th this does help you to give that to get this edge even cleaner if you just grab that little thread from the back. Now I'm still working over the white. Just work a double crochet on every stitch. Until you're to the corner. We're going to work just the, the normal corner again. So 
two doubles, chain two and two doubles. And then I need more yarn. And when we're at the end of round three, I'm just going to stop with the video, but as such you could make this square in four rounds, five rounds, ten rounds, kind of depends on what you're going for, what a pattern calls for. And I'm just working these last stitches here. And these split granny split squares, they're really great for making geometric patterns. So you can also make your own designs and play with these um, with these geometric shapes and make the most beautiful patterns. And now I've got two more to go. And here's the last one. And again here, if you want to, you see there's that little yarn there that we use from changing colors. So if you want to, you could grab that thread also here, which is going to be over there. But this is optional. If you don't want to, just leave it, don't worry. I'm just going to grab that also. That'll again help to just make this um, gap neat and crisp. And then work two double crochets here in the space, so one in the blue. Again, being sure to push that white thread to the other side. See, there's the white thread from the previous row's color change. Then change colors again, so that's one in the blue, and then I take one in the white. One in the white. And complete the corner, so that's two more double crochets. Now with the white yarn. And two. Going to complete this edge, so that's there. If you want to, grab that thread there. You see there, if you take it with you. It'll just make this corner again crispier. So you see, I, now you don't see any of those carrying threads in that hole you've worked them all the way. And there we go. And two more here, two double crochets. Again working over that blue yarn. Oops, over that blue yarn. And now close here with a slip stitch, bringing the blue yarn also up to the next level. Sounds like a computer game, bringing things up to the next level. What you do see, and if this bothers you, I'll just show you a trick again. You see there, sometimes you can see that carrying yarn. You just kind of see it peeping through here between the last stitch and the chain two. Now if you if you if that's a nuisance to you, what you could do is just in that last stitch. Yeah, this last stitch. I'm going to un undo that last stitch there. Also, again, catch the yarn from the previous round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that stitch and then grab that carrying yarn from the previous round. And that's what what this is going to do is going to force it out of view. You see there, it's no longer present there in that little gap. You see now you can't see it anymore. And then here close with a slip stitch and bring up your working yarn. So you see now it's not there anymore. And likewise, the carrying yarn here, when you come with the next stitch, next round catch that and pull it up. You see how I've caught that that thread there. That used to be there in front of the gap, but now I've kind of pushed it behind stitches. So you see here, you still see a little bit, you still see that carrying yarn there. And, if, and then the next round you could work that away if you want. But these are all little details. You see here with these two threads and with that thread to just hide them extra if you want. If you don't want to, you know, that's also fine. What I've now shown you is three rounds of working this square. And if you're going to work four rounds, five rounds, it's, it stays the same. In one of the 
corners you change yarn colors and for the rest just carry your yarn along with you and that's the most important thing is that when you carry this yarn that you don't see it shining through that's that's the most important thing and these details I showed you here in the corners those those are extras if you want to get it real crisp but as such you would now work around three and at this point or around four I should say and at this point you would change colors again I've now chosen to um, to start with the white but you could just as easily start with the blue and I've now decided to work um, two white edges and then work two blue edges but you could work one white edge then change colors work two blue edges and then work a white edge again that that's also possible so these are all variations that you can use depending on what the pattern geometry asks you sometimes when you do it join as you go it might be easier to start here and sometimes when you know okay I'm going to be turning the work it might be easier to start here that kind of all depends on uh, on what you're doing but I've now shown you how to do a solid granny square join as you go we've done the first three rounds but rounds four five six seven eight are all exactly the same 